The Legend of Killarney As everyone knows, leprechauns are magical, mischievous, elusive little beings known for their fabulous wealth. Once upon a time, in the fabled village of Killarney, there lived a wee lad named Finn O'Flynn. Now, cheery, magical leprechauns are notorious for hiding their pots of gold at the ends of rainbows and sometimes even in Swiss banks. But alas, Finn was neither rich, cheerful, nor magical. Quite the contrary. He was dirt poor and oh, so sad. Yes, our little lad in green's got a bad case of the lovesick blues. Oh, woe is me, for I have lost my true love, my beautiful fairy princess. She's gone, disappeared, run off, flown the coop with both me heart and me gold. Excuse me, but, um, for a wee lad from Killarney, you don't sound terribly Irish. We moved a lot when I was young. And you don't look very wee, either. Um, I lost my gym membership. No dough, remember? Right-o. Well, back to our story. Poor, pathetic little Finn believed that only the enchanted music of his flute could charm his beloved fairy princess and her pixie friends into returning home to Killarney. So, every evening at twilight, the wee lad played his princess's favorite tunes on the flute, hoping she would hear his beckoning music and return to her rightful home. Let's see. My flute should be around here somewhere. Oh, what's this? My lucky shillelagh! I led the fighting Irish in hitting with this stick last year. Down, boy! Where's St. Patrick when you need him? Oh, my flute! Oh, here you are, my lovely. Let's make some beautiful music together, baby. But unfortunately for Finn O'Flynn, despite long hours of flute practice, his playing left a lot to be desired. <laughs> Truth be told, he was a lousy musician. Um, well, I, I think me flute's broken. <laughs> <laughs> broken? Is that there, Joe? Who, who's he kidding? <laughs> <laughs> hey... Who's laughing at me? We are! Oh, my poor ears. I've heard better tootin' at a bean farm. Oh, at least you have ears. <laughs> if that's the best playing you can do, we'll never see the beautiful fairy princess again. Ah, who needs a gold-digging fairy anyway? <laughs> Men are so silly when they try to impress girls. <laughs> hey, wee lad, you're gonna need magic to make your flute toot. <laughs> okay, okay. What do you busybody, funny-looking farm animals know about music anyways? Did he just call us busybodies? Well, I never. So Finn tried everything he could think of to improve his flute playing. Me parents bought me flute lessons. I tried shamrock wishing, uh, uh, to transcendental meditation, even tried some performance-enhancing tai chi. I think it really helped. Bahoo! In fact, his flute playing got worse. And then one night, Finn remembered something he hadn't tried. Magic! Finn had in his possession... A, a magic, magic wand. wand! Look, it's autographed by Harry Potter. Unfortunately, a leprechaun can't make magic of this type all by himself. No... This enchantment requires special assistance. Someone special to magically wave the magic wand while the wee lad plays his flute. Hmm, well, let's see. Uh, who looks magical enough to help me out? Sir, please come with me. 
You look like you've handled a magic wand or two before. Here you go. Uh, uh, when I say so, you wave the magic wand around me flute. Are you ready? Wait. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Ready? Go! <laughs> 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 it's all in the wrist. Like this. Go ahead. Show me some of your real magic. Oh. Is that from Phantom of the Opera? Uh-oh. Something's happening. Look out! <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, gorgeous. <sighs> Who's wearing that smelly perfume? Ew, laddie. You must be my date from Match.com. <laughs> oh, um, oh, oh, saints preserve us. Um, it, it was him. I, I don't even own a computer. Um, remind me to cancel my AOL account. Seriously? I got all dolled up for this? Boys, I know when I'm not wanted. There's plenty more bachelors in the next town over. I hear that French mayor of Aquitaine is a handsome little devil. <laughs> Au revoir, Kalane. What? Is she gone? And I thought my last date was scary. Kids, let this be a lesson to you. I'm never going online again. Thanks, buddy. You've been a big help. Yeah, thanks for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Finn O'Flynn, if it were me trying to conjure up a fairy princess, I'd find someone pure of heart to help. Darn tootin'. Pure of heart. Hmm, pure of heart, you say. Oh, my. He isn't the sharpest shillelagh in the box, is he? Jeez, how long is this show? If I miss the fireworks, feathers are gonna fly. <laughs> <clears throat> Mr. O'Flynn? Oh, 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 I get it! Finally! Oh, 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 little lassie, I'm so excited to have your magical help. Won't you help me bring back my fairy princess? This time it's gonna work for sure. Okay, when I point to you, wave this magic wand really high, okay? She's got a touch of real magic. Look! Up in the sky! Oh, my beautiful, beautiful fairy princess! You returned! Oh, thank you. Thank you for your wonderful help, little lassie. This show is better than Dancing with the Stars! No, it isn't. And so, the euphoric Finn O'Flynn and his fabulously fashionable fairy princess were reunited and lived in blissful love. But tell us, Miss Narrator, what lesson did we learn from this story? Of course! Stories like this always have a moral. The moral to this story is, men can toot their flute till the cows come home, but it takes pure magic to get the chicks. <laughs> come down, come down. Oh, it's time to celebrate everybody. Me fairy princess has come home. And so, Finn O'Flynn and his fairy princess lived happily ever after, dancing the nights away with their pixie friends in the Killarney Woods. Some say... If you look carefully in the moonlight, you might even see the fairy's pixie dust shimmering like fireflies to the sounds of Finn's flute. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye-bye.